you down your middle. So right off the bat, I think it's pretty important to preface that by stepping into this video, I am just causing a shit show in general. It's been requested for like two years now, and I'm just now getting to it now that we've kind of learned more about Sasuke as an adult per se, and you know, power scaling and arguments have evolved for even say Naruto and the Sick Paths characters. And we've learned a lot as guides have come out as well. And people are very obsequious to these two Uchiha deities, right? I mean, if I say Madara wins, uh, the Sasuke fans are going to be triggered if I say Sasuke wins the Madara fans are gonna be triggered and the Naruto fan base tends to look at who wins more than the arguments constructing why someone wins <laughs> so yeah um, I'm really not winning by stepping in here but other than that I hope you guys look at what I say under a critical lens maybe less about the winner and more about what I say for those of you who have not seen Boruto this might be a good learning experience for some of you I know a lot of people don't power scale Boruto I think I'm really the only one on YouTube that kind of power scales Boruto I at all. <laughs> Hopefully I can shed some light on some things. And other than that, let's get started. So right off the bat, I think it's pretty important to talk about misconceptions surrounding adult Sasuke. For Sasuke, the big one is mainly Sasuke got weaker as an adult and isn't six paths level and head assery of that caliber. From there, it's pretty easy to debunk that notion with the established axioms of the narrative. Naruto and Sasuke have been training for many years since the war and have had to fight characters like Toneri and so on. Toneri being able to throw the moon at Earth and destroy it at the end of the last is astronomically stronger than any non six paths character said maybe might guy via power scaling, which is more debatable based on raw power feats alone, making it extremely hard to believe that just a base non hagoromo boosted Bijou Sage Mo Naruto could defeat him, since Naruto and Sasuke became much stronger even in their base forms after meeting the Sage of the Six Paths. Naruto and Sasuke then trained for many more years, honing their abilities until Naruto becomes Hokage, in which he becomes rusty compared to his prime, which his prime is not necessarily the war arc since he got stronger since then, uh, and exactly example, Naruto is still the link of all the tailed beasts, just like he was during the fight with Kaguya, and has another half of the nine tails added to his overall strength after the battle with Sasuke, so he'd only get stronger technically, and this is also shown by him mastering new techniques. It was also established by Kurama that the Renegon of Sasuke was new and could not utilize its full abilities during the trio of six paths face-offs, such as absorbing attacks while attacking and etc. This is also stated by Sasuke as he states he's getting more used to the Renegon when the battle with Naruto begins. As an adult, we see Sasuke able to use the Renegon at a far more advanced level, being able to see and stop time, and being able to rip holes between dimensions, something he could not do before. Naruto and Sasuke are then faced with the Otsutsuki duo Kinshiki and Momoshiki. Sasuke, during the initial encounter with them, thinks that Kinshiki and Momoshiki are the threats greater than Kaguya, even after he fights Kinshiki with low chakra in their first scuffle and then reports to Naruto. After the battle, Naruto thinks that the Otsutsuki weren't all that, but this isn't important, as Sasuke was confident even with the idea of taking out a beyond Kaguya level threat in his head with just him, Naruto, and the five Kage. Even then, if Sasuke and Naruto didn't retain six paths, they'd be unable to contend with the Otsutsuki as the base Renegon and Bijou Sage modes aren't strong enough to even hold a candle to anything relevant to Kaguya. And not only did they pull off a feat relative to Kaguya, give or take, they did this with just Taijutsu alone, not even being able to use shadow clones or anything of the sort while both severely drained of chakra as Naruto had his chakra drained by Momoshiki until he was sweating, and Sasuke had to teleport numerous people, whereas even just teleporting himself takes a massive portion of his energy. It's self-evident that they had to have become much more powerful, especially if Sasuke was convinced Kinshiki and Momoshiki were a Kaguya-level threat in Sasuke's mind, give or take, after facing them at around two-thirds of his maximum chakra. Since teleporting to Kaguya's dimension and back completely rips the chakra and Tomos out of Sasuke's Renegon. Now that that's out of the way, we can talk about how we should start actually comparing the two. Madara is a very powerful character in the war, but his feats versus Sasuke and Naruto when they first obtained their powers falls a tad short. Without the second Renegon, Madara could hardly react to Renegon Sasuke running and chopping him in half, and couldn't tag an off-guard Naruto with even his fastest jutsu like the Sage Art Light Fang, while he was constantly on the defensive from either of them throughout the rest of the encounter. When he gets the second Renegon, it's a tad different, however. His limbo clones increased to four, and he's now able to stand his ground pretty confidently against Naruto and Sasuke. Some people will say that Hagoromo 
Hagoromo was comparing himself to Madara. However, this isn't exactly the case as Hagoromo was mainly referring to Madara trying to obtain power like his. And also, this was one-eyed Madara, who we just saw get chopped in half by Sasuke, who had half the power of Hagoromo. And not even like a full, alive Hagoromo with the ten tails, just like the ghostly goo essence of him inside their like consciousness. Madara then sends the Limbo clones to attack Naruto and Sasuke while he creates a barrage of meteors to attack from above so he can activate the infinite Sukuyomi. Naruto then retaliates by creating four shadow clones to fight Madara's four Limbo clones. The Limbo clones, as a reminder, are around the same strength as Madara himself, as shown during the Bijou fight and as shown versus Naruto and Sasuke when he was actually weaker than them and he was able to actually launch them back with this Limbo clone. These Limbo clones are then matched by Naruto's shadow clones and they literally go back and forth while Naruto preps attacks to deal with the meteors. Some people will say Madara wasn't trying yet, which isn't relevant as his Limbo clones themselves were in fact trying to hold Naruto and Sasuke back and are relative to Madara himself. So just because the actual body of Madara wasn't necessarily going all out, the Limbo clones in fact were. Uh, we don't know what Madara really means by going all out. Maybe he has like some jutsu or hacks he was planning on using, but otherwise in terms of power, the Limbo clones were at their peak until evidence otherwise, which there won't be any evidence otherwise because Madara is fucking dead. Hopefully. It's then stated later on that Kaguya is in a completely different league of power than Three-Eyed Madara. Naruto sends thousands of Limbo level shadow clones at Kaguya and she handles all of them for the most part with high difficulty. Naruto even swaps hands briefly with her and then can rip her arms off and so on and completely rip her body structure apart with the Rasta and Shuriken. Sasuke in the Boruto era is stated to be a rival or equal to a much more powerful Naruto in terms of a fight in the guides and also in terms of somewhat of a feat with uh, Momo Shiki and etc. So from here, the narrative has established that Renegon Madara in terms of power is not really a match for adult Sasuke. And Renegon Madara was never really the intended final enemy to fight Naruto and Sasuke anyway. He wasn't the big bad powerhouse Hagoromo was scared of. Hagoromo knew that Kaguya was going to come out of Madara, which is why he actually gave them the seals to begin with. But what about Madara's skills or Sasuke's skills? Madara has a wide variety of combat experience as the Sasuke. Sasuke. Sasuke even just getting used to the Renegon was able to read Madara like a book and perfectly analyze everything his limbo was up to while Madara jerked off Sasuke's abilities to analyze. It's also somewhat questionable if Madara has mastered his own Renegon abilities for the most part, at least if he's mastered them on the level of Sasuke who's been using them for a decade plus versus Madara using them for a few days since the second he actually got them in his real life he he died like instantly. So Madara doesn't actually have as much experience with the Renegon as Sasuke does, which if Madara did survive, it might be possible that he might actually have more potential to show us, but he's dead again. <clears throat> you might be able to argue that Madara can use wood clones or true seeking jutsu on Sasuke, although we know that Sasuke doesn't just sit by and let his opponents clone themselves, as he constantly shoved Naruto around during their final battle just so Naruto could not do it. We also know that the Renegon can actually absorb wood style as well, at least as stated in the novels, which would more likely create a Momoshiki versus Naruto kind of situation where Madara's clones won't really be effective or he will just be forced not to use them. And with Sasuke's big power advantage, ability to absorb and attack simultaneously, and possibly abilities to seal with Chewbacca Tensei when Madara is weakened, it's not really looking too good for him. Even Kaguya, who had massively more energy than Madara, got tired versus Naruto and somewhat Sasuke, since Sasuke wasn't really there most of the time. Uh, Sasuke was also able to fatigue Naruto whenever he gained powers like his, so the Six Path Senjutsu isn't out of Sasuke's league when it comes to attrition either, even when he was much younger. All in all, you'd have to insert a lot of headcanon or assume a lot of things we haven't seen from Madara to really give him the win. The only thing really going for him are Limbo clones who wouldn't even be current Naruto shadow clone level in which Sasuke is an equal to Naruto in combat. His infinite Tsukuyomi wouldn't work, obviously, as it didn't do it before. We don't know if he'd even would clone or if Sasuke would even let him or if that even affect the power gap at all. His soul ripping jutsus wouldn't work on Sasuke as even Hanzo was able to dodge prime Nagato soul dragon despite Hanzo being far inferior. Uh, his fire style would get absorbed or completely fondled by Amaterasu or the Renegon. His true seeking orbs wouldn't even be Susano arrow level as shown in Naruto versus Sasuke in the last battle. He has no Genjutsu that can work, nothing at all except possible clone headcanon is really all all I can really see. So in the end, Sasuke easily reads Madara like a book, drains his chakra after beating him around with beyond planet level splitting force with every casual slash of his sword as scaled to Kinshiki from the guides, and then Chewbacca Tensei seals him with mid to high difficulty. Um, 
other than that, that's all that really needs to be said. A little fun fact, some people have been trying to scale Three-Eyed Madara. However, Three-Eyed Madara is actually the one that's stated to be massively weaker than normal Kaguya. And it's actually possible that absorbing the God Tree gave Madara the third eye in his head. So it's possible that whatever boost the third eye gave him was what the God Tree actually does. So the God Tree amp might have actually just been the third eye amp in terms of a boost. So the third eye being used in this battle might not have really changed anything. You might have said it might be able to do some time space hacks. However, even Kaguya, who's massively above that, could barely handle doing it a few times. So it's unsure if Madara could really use it. And in the end, it doesn't really change anything because this is just two-eyed versus Sauce game. If you think three-eyed Madara would stand a better chance, by all means, you can go ahead. Uh, but for now, double Renegon Madara does get clapped. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know a lot of you did it. <laughs> but other than that, guys, till next time.